Season opener in the IBSF Women's Bobsleigh World Cup at Altenburg in Germany. November night action. Jamie Grubel poser in a disappointing seventh place, nearly seven tenths off the lead in the first heat, with a great woman Lauren Gibbs pulling out all the stops in heat two, tidying up the action below the Chrysler, and that brought the US sled speed. They moved into the lead of the race, but still six to come, including the fastest starters from the first heat. Anja Schneider Heinzer with Franziska Bertel, second quickest out of the blocks in heat one. Another big start from the German duo, but would it be enough? Schneider's run was good to the Kreisel, not so good below. Too many errors crept in, too much speed slipped away. She dropped to second. Jenny Grubel poser on the way up the order. Fourth after the first heat, 100th of a second out of the medals for the Belgian Bullets. Alpha Willemsen took the silver medal in the race in Altenburg last year. Could she get back into the medals again? Superb speed from the Red Devils as they charged into a lead with three to go. Germany's Sandra Kroll came and failed. The rookie was third after the first heat, didn't make it into the leading pack. But Christina Hengster in the silver medal position after heat one had led until the last sled down. Now Hengster in with a chance of a career best. Could she claim an unlikely victory? No, she slipped into second behind Willemsen, but she was still in the medal spots with one to go. Kaylee Humphreys of Canada, second fastest start in the first heat with Melissa Lotholtz. After a winless 2014-15, she came out all guns blazing at the start of the season. First heat lead of half a second, extended to three quarters of a second at the end of a relaxed second run. Humphreys back at her imperious best, the double world and Olympic champion winning as she liked. Willemsen second and a tie for third between Austria and the USA. Kaylee Humphreys, the World Cup leader, as we head to our next week's action in Winterberg, Germany, a week from now.